In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to paint this double rainbow spiral bookmark. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I can't paint that, I don't have any fancy tools, but actually you can because I'm going to show you how to make this project with simple items that you probably already have lying around your house. So let's make some homemade tools together. Start off by breaking a toothpick in half. Use coarse sandpaper to remove the thicker splinters and then polish it off and smooth it out with a finer grit sandpaper. What you're looking for is round and flat on the end. Next, we are going to take a regular cotton swab and you take all the cotton off of one end so you're down to the stick. And I like to just dip it in a little bit of acrylic paint and smooth that down the stick part um, just to hold down any fuzzies that might be left. And then on the other end, you leave the cotton on, but you dip it in acrylic paint and kind of rub the tip and flatten it out so it's flat. And then again, just kind of hold down any fuzzies down the stick part. Um, so that will be three different sizes. And then we're going to use a regular size pencil and a jumbo pencil. And you just want to make sure that the erasers are nice and round and flat. So that'll be our five different size tools. For the bookmarks themselves, I'm just going to make my own out of like thick cut black cardstock. You can use any color that you want. Um, and to match with me, you're going to want to measure the length to four and three quarters inches. And then you just want to make a few lines down the length of the paper uh, and then just make that cut. And then after that, we're going to do one and a quarter inches for the width of each one. And you're just going to mark those off and cut those out as well. And that way you have several to work with in case of mess ups. This next part is just a personal preference. You can leave them, you know, squared, or what I'm doing is just kind of rounding off the edges. It's just an aesthetic preference, it's however you like to do it. And then I am gonna add a little hole to each one um, with a hole punch, and that is just so I can add a little tassel at the end, and you'll see that later on in this tutorial. So I've got several ready just in case I make some mess ups, but we are ready to go. Now, planning out the design, you want to go up one and a half inches from each end of your ruler and make a little mark, and that's where your center dot is going to go. That will be where the design starts, making two marks since it's a double spiral. Now, the paints that I'm using today are Deco Art Americana Regular Acrylic Paint in Tuscan Red, Cadmium Orange, Cadmium Yellow, Hauser Light Green, Williamsburg Blue, and Mulberry. And I will name these off as I go. And you will also be able to find these in the video's description below. Your marks are where your center dots are gonna go. So go ahead and grab your palette and put just a little bit of paint out of each color. So starting off, we're going to be using the larger pencil eraser. And I'm just going with the uh, red and you just want to dip it in paint make sure that the end of the eraser is totally covered in paint and we're making our center dots here so you want them a little bit more than halfway on the paper with just a little bit hanging off and then i use a plastic sheet so i can just wipe it away and then we're going to start our rainbow design so you want to get your toothpick that you've made a tool out of and you're going to place your first initial dot of the spiral right next to the center dot as close as you can without touching. I mean, if it touches, it's okay. Be sure to clean your tool off in between each of the colors. Next, we're gonna go with cadmium orange right next to the Tuscan red. Again, without touching, if it touches, it's not the end of the world. Uh, cadmium yellow will be next. It's actually a pretty simple design once you get the hang of it. Followed by Hauser light green and then clean off your tool. And then we're gonna go with Williamsburg Blue. And for the last color, we're gonna grab the Mulberry and make a dot. And now we're gonna start back at the first color, which is the Tuscan Red. So go back and make a Tuscan Red dot. And if you can fit on one more, go ahead and place a Cadmium Orange dot right on the edge. Okay, so the spiral design kind of creates itself. What you do, is you're just going to offset your dots from the previous row of dots, okay? So you go right in between the previous red and orange and you make a red dot. Now you can do this on both sides since you've got another red and orange dot. So go ahead and rotate your bookmark and make another red dot to the right of your red dot. <laughs> and then just lightly clean off your tool. Since these are homemade, they will, you know, they can get destroyed, so you just kind of be gentle and kind of dab it off. Same thing here, you're going to the right of the orange, 
and you're making a larger orange dot. So right between the orange and the yellow. Followed up by the yellow, which is going to go right between the yellow and the green. It's right of the yellow. And the green is going to go right between the green and the blue. So just offsetting that previous row. Blue is going to go between blue and purple. And then you're going to the purple, which is going to go between the purple and then back to the red. Um, and then the very next dot, we're going to go up a row, so up a size. So you're going to go with the cotton end of the cotton swab. And the same thing, going right of the red, so a larger red dot above the red. You're going right between red and orange. Dab it off before you switch colors. Go ahead and dip it in your orange paint. You're going to go right between the orange and the yellow. And this spiral is just going to start forming. Um, you're going to follow it up with the yellow, between yellow and green. You just rotate it so you can hit both sides up at the same time. And then go with the green. It's going to go between green and blue. Blue between blue and purple. Just to the right. Keep going to the right of your previous row. And then purple between purple and red. And then it does leave a little bit of room on the other side, which next to the red should be purple. So since you have the purple paint on there, go ahead and make your purple dot up on the other side of the spiral, since that's where it will be coming. And then we're going to fill in that little space there with the red, which will be next to the purple. And then I've got that, again, that plastic sheet. I bought those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar for a pack, I think, of two. And they really will save your desk. And these make a great gift for, you know, any avid reader in your life. My daughter has already snatched up all the ones that I've made here. <laughs> all right, we're going with the regular size pencil eraser. And you're just going to be, since we have purple on the edge there, I'm going to go ahead and make the first dot purple. And I bet you know what to do next. Yep, we're going to go back with the red. Now, I've got to ask a favor of you. If you appreciate this free beginner's tutorial, please hit the share button. You can share it, you know, to a friend through text. You can share it on social media. You can share it anywhere, but that just helps me out so much. And I really appreciate your help. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And that just lets me know that you would like to see similar videos. And if you're completely new to my channel, of course, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that will just notify you as soon as I upload a new tutorial. Thank you. All right, so in this space, we can fit about a half of a dot. So you're gonna look to the color that's right before purple and that would be blue. So go ahead and place a half a dot of blue in those spaces right next to the purple. Just whatever you can fit is fine. And now normally we would be jumping up to the next size, which is the large pencil eraser. However, the Spacing is kind of tight, so I'm just going to stick with the regular size pencil eraser and make a red dot, you know, continuing on with the pattern. And I'm just going to push it down a couple extra times and make it a little wider. It's really all you've got to do. Um, and then for the next dot, it'll be orange, you know, it's the same thing. It's only going to fit about a half of a dot there. And finally, we've got enough room to use the large pencil eraser. So now going in with the yellow, I'm making a much larger dot. And again, just cleaning up as I go. And the green. And if you don't feel like you have enough paint on your dot, or say if you push down too hard and the dot has a, um, like a hole in the middle, you can just re-dip your tool into paint and then just redot the same dot, and that's perfectly fine, and that will work well. So that's all you got to do there. Follow it up by the purple, and that's going to hang off a little bit. I love the way this design really fills out the whole bookmark from edge to edge. You're able to fit one more green on there, and that is the last of it there for the design. And as far as sealing it goes, I did not seal mine. I just didn't want it to warp because it is on paper. You probably could get away with it, um, but I just didn't feel the need. I didn't think it would be necessary. Uh, and then you do want to, however, let it fully dry before you use it. And then you can just stick a little tassel in it. And I've got those off of Amazon, and I will link 
to those in this video's description below. Thank you so much for watching.